Hey everyone, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a clean and precise flat design. So I already have my color palette ready and I'm using the mono line brush from the Calligraphy brush set and I would suggest you to use the same brush as it is a really nice brush and make sure before you even start creating the line for the basic sketch make sure that the streamline is increased up to max so that is the tip number one before you go ahead and draw the basic sketch so the next step or the next step is to create separate layer for each and different uh, element that your design has Now just click onto the layer and select alpha lock for each and every one of the layers. Now what it is going to do if you don't already know is uh, whenever you're like creating shadows or giving a certain element of the design a shadow, it is not going to mess up the other element that your design has as you can see in the video. So another type for a good flat design is never blend the shadows or the highlights that you give to your design so as you can see here I'm just uh, creating a shadow but I'm not blending it out with the blending tool because that's how the flat design should look like in my opinion like not uh, not too much blending just flat shadows and flat highlights so here I am giving different parts of the design some shadows to make it pop now you can actually skip this step and skip like adding shadows if you don't want to still gonna look good but it's just something that I really love doing to my flat designs. Now I am adding a flat highlight um, to my design as I did with the apple. And again, I'm not going to blend it out with the blending tool. my design now it is you to decide where you want the flat shadow to be and I'm using the same brush that I used before and what I'm doing here is make sure to create a separate layer for this as well now what I'm doing here is I'm creating a rectangle and I am going to be filling the rectangle with a black color so that is the first step you do So now that you have filled 
the rectangle with the black color just adjust the rectangle to your design as I'm doing here in the video once you have done that just uh, make sure the layer is selected and fill the rectangle with the background color now why I'm doing it you, you'll just see so now just choose a bigger brush I'm using airbrush and I'm just increasing the size of the brush and I'm shading the rectangle which we colored um, in the background color I'm just shading it with the black color like this as you can see in the video now once you are happy with the shadows you created just decrease the opacity now I have decreased the opacity up to 5% now it is up to you how um, dark or light you want your shadows to be now the shadow is ready but I'm just deleting it I'm just using the one I created for the apple so that the, the, the direction of the shadows are the same so yeah that is basically it and that is how I go about creating the flat or vector design in Procreate which is really simple and this is not something really difficult I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you guys the next time.